Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Austin P. Governors and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Bulldogs should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if we can get their big man in foul trouble. Finally, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Both teams looking to get things going here. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He takes it away. On the break. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Got great athleticism. The ball goes out of play. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Up and inside. He throws it up from downtown. That's a seven zip run. Gave it up. Moving it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Time to pick up the defense here now. We didn't see that again, Brad. Inside. Trying to pack it inside. He's open if he wants the shot. There's a high screen. The small forward with the ball. From right at the circle. Gets it to go. Waller is fired up right now emotional. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Control of the ball. The shooting guard gets the pass. Oh, that's basic. Goes up for two. Gonzaga have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They anticipate so well defensively. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Inside, work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Great anticipation defensively. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Only the replay can do this justice. Post flashes for the ball handler. Puts it up, looking for contact. See, that's what I like. A good rebound. 
Too many players these days want to score and do all the fancy stuff. Rebounding doesn't get you on Sports Center, but it helps your team win. He looks for the bomb. That was nice. They scored seven in a row. High post flashes for the opportunity. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Post player kicks it out. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Fed the low block. The center takes the pass. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Austin Key are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Nick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Makes it. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting it. High post player flashing. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Too physical. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, what a strip, Red. He'll regroup the offense. Turns it over. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Pressure's getting to him. There's the screen up on top. The power forward takes the feed. He buries the shot. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. On the outside, he shoots from outside. He gets the shot to fall. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And he scores it off the glass. That's a 7-0 run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's a flash from the high post. The power forward gets the ball. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Another turnover. And they're not talking out for turnovers either. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the half. here after the timeout. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He's money with the shot. That's a 13-zip run. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the shot. 
Off the rim and no good. High post flasher is open. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Double team now, that angle. Moving it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. He hits it. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gonzaga is usually tops in the West Coast Conference. They get some great players from the West Coast and the Pacific Northwest. Hey, couple that with some great coaching, and you're tops in the conference. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Bulldogs go to the line for the first time in this game. He got it. Both free throws go. It rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Almost lost the basketball. He shoots from the angle. That's good. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. We're grabbing Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Thanks, Aaron. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. <laughs> On the outside, Hogan makes a great move to draw the foul. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. for a good shot. 
He shoots from right of the circle. Makes the shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There's the block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. It's stolen. That number's right here. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's a double team. Tries a three. He shows the sweet touch. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Gonzaga have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal for two. Up, easy one. A little frustration right there. With the fake. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. The fake. He fakes the shot. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of play. Picks off the pass. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. To the line. First one is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He misses the second shot. Good rebound. Great position on a rebound. Good block out. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Stolen away. Great job getting back defensively. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense.
Get that sucker out of the game, man. Center it, center it. Nice fake. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He makes the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes the third. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is down there, fading away, impossible of luck. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He looks for three. He gets it to fall. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. He intercepts it. And then coming the other way. Tries for two. Buried it. Double team now. Bad angle. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Opportunity for two for one. Takes away the pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? to the line gets it got them both oh he drained it left them a nylon NBN moving it around the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter Great play to take that to the basket. They 
working around the perimeter. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. With a Hail Mary. Misses the three. At halftime, the Bulldogs lead by 14. This has been a good one so far, folks. Dick, what's your take as the highlight of the half? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Gonzaga is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gonzaga, what a transformation over the last few years. They don't belong to a major conference, but they still managed to make it to the tournament and compete. It's a great story about the evolution of a mid-major. They're legit now. Goes up for two. Sweet-looking shot. He is sweet, but he really is. The power forward handles the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He pump fakes. He puts it up. Sinks the shot. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Waller handles the feed. He shoots from left of the circle. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That one there should have been a foul goal, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. In the paint. Shoots it. He drains the bucket. Momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. Good fake. He looks at the hoop with a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket. In and out. Finger roll. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pass. 
Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. Pressure that basketball. Takes it off him. They get out on the break. Tries for two. Easy one. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He attempts the trifecta, knocks it down. The power forwards receives the ball, kicks it out. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He goes for three, off the rim and no good. There's the trap. He takes it away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. On the outside. Puts up the shot. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He gets it to go. <laughs> now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Receives the pass. He throws up the shot. Rims out. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. job defensively. They just won't give many open. Pressure in the basketball. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Steal. What a great strip. The kick out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, doesn't go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Sets the screen for his teammate. He shoots from the angle. Yes! Steal. D 
defense got it after knocking it loose. Joyce draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Joyce steps to the line for the first time. Hits the first. No doubt about it. Basin. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He comes up empty. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands. And the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. He fires from long range. He gets that one to fall. With a bucket, can't get the shot to drop. the perimeter ball was tipped loose but the offense retains possession steals the ball they work the perimeter on the inside for two oh, easy one watch here The Governors seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball players. Up and inside. On the top of the key, way off target. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. Has a nice look at the basket from three-point range. He makes the shot. Take some pride on the defensive end. He comes away with it. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Hits the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. That spin move not successful, Dick. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Trying to draw the foul. Gonzaga is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. 
Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Defensively, rotation was very poor. He hits the shot. <laughs> Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. the feed down low now the turnaround jumper I tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away impossible to block gave it up that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot tries for two I tell you really a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move and he does it exceptionally well it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot gets it to go goes up for two perfectly executed Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Gets it. Gonzaga have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Second one, good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes it. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Spirit. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. Gave it up. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. For the deuce, he's money with a shot. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Goes up for two. Top of the circle. He nails the bucket. the pass on the dribble gives it up buries it the 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And he'll kick it back outside. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. And he scores despite the hack. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Steals the pass. Takes the pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. A little Marishka Buff in shorts. A little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from left of the circle. Brings it down. Better have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He looks for three. Tickles the twine. Shot clock is dead. Fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He hits it. Dick, you said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. 
The Bulldogs open the tournament with an impressive first round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves enter in the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.